Hey y'all, how's it going? So, yeah, I haven't uploaded in like two weeks. It's been like 15 days or 16 days or something. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a little bit more like that. I'll try to upload a little more often, but um, I'm not going to be uploading a whole lot. And so, uh, anyway, we have the overnight highs here, overnight lows here. Some of these swings in this downtrend were actually before 8.30, but clearly the range is here. You got the one, two, three, triple bottom. EMA is flat like a roller coaster. It's not just plummeting. So this is the overnight range, and um, and yeah, let me zoom out here so I can uh, grab this channel. So this channel started off more like this. So pretty thin, and. The first okay looking trade is this one, except there is one problem with it, which I'll go over, it's STT. So we break out of the overnight lows, most breakouts fail, and then you get a close out of the downtrend, but that's not, that's not good enough reason. You can't just buy the breakout, or uh, sorry, you can't just try to fade just because you got to close out, you have to get a decent setup. And so we have a break, we don't quite reach the EMA or, the, or even retest the overnight low, and so uh, you know, and technically it could be debated on like where exactly it is. You could say it and possibly retested, but it didn't reach the EMA. And so there's no trades there. We push down and then you get first entry short, second entry short. But there's a couple problems. One is there's, if you draw it like this, then there's STT, which isn't, that shouldn't be too big a deal. The, the main issue, because if I draw it like this, the, if I draw the risk to reward tool, it will have to go through that line right there, except the main issue I have with it is it, it's a mixture of that and it's a really big bar right before a an inside bear bar. And it's, a, it's like a really strong. So a lot of times whenever you get a huge bull bar, which would be opposite of the short small bar, if you go into a smaller time frame, it'll look like a much bigger trend, and then on a smaller time frame, there will be SDT, which is why I oftentimes don't like entering on a really small entry bar right after a massive opposite bar. So that's just something to think about. So I don't see anything there that's particularly good. I mean, you do have a second entry short. You know, you can see it as this whole leg here as a second attempt to fade the range, but it's a little risky. And so, um, anyway... I did start extending this range. After we got to the EMA here, we pushed up, we got to the EMA, we pushed right through, and so I wasn't exactly thinking short, because I was thinking we could start to fade the range, but then we pushed back below, and then at this point we're extremely choppy. So so nothing nothing really good in here that I saw, but, um, but anyway, we start going into this downtrend, we bounce again, we push lower, we bounce right off of it, terrible signal bar. You have this lower high, pretty good signal bar, and I, I think it's probably an okay trade. I didn't take it. I, I remember seeing it afterward, because I, I must have left the room or something, but I did not see that happen. I was thinking it, it does look pretty good, and like you'll see how there's a measured move here, except it was held back by this trend line, which is, in, in my opinion, when it's held back, that's an excuse for it to not actually fully reach the measured move. And so I think there really could be something there. Um, I mean, to me, it just it just looks pretty good. Like, definitely not one to two. I think it looks good for one to one. You know, because you can get out around the low. But I wouldn't want to push it really far. I mean, it's like you, you, you're getting out at the tick on the low there. So I think it looks all right for one to one, but not for more. But yeah, I wish I was at my computer. Um, anyway, so we push lower, we push lower, we have this small correction, we bounce off the trend line again, and then we finally start to, I don't really see, I don't really see anything good here. It's like, I see the two legs, but it's like, it's like right into that. You have this uptrend here. It's not a, it's, I would just be scared to take it, especially with how low it is, with how low the, you know, how low that we would be shorting there. But um, anyway, we push lower and then we finally reverse back above the EMA. So that's the completion of this first leg. So now we can, we can draw this leg here. And so we rush back above, we get this hidden failed second entry. It's kind of like first entry short, second entry short failure. 
but obviously there's no tick lower there. And I would not really be looking to go long yet. I was not looking for longs quite yet because for me to go long, I, I, I'm just, I'm afraid of this big measured move. I'm afraid of it making a measured move. So I would want to see it start to fade the range before I start really want to go, go long. But, um, but anyway, we do hold and we do keep going below the EMA. I don't, there's nothing particularly great. I get this down, this uptrend off of this swing right here and it fits good off the highs. We do hold, but I'm still looking for shorts at this point. I do think longs would be risky, and especially after this point, you get the overshoot. Overshoots lead to breaks, but we did hold, and we end up making a bounce here, which forms this bigger downtrend after it starts to take off. Um, but yeah, there's nothing very clear in here, but we push down, then we, have, we go into this downtrend here. We have a break downtrend break expecting a new low and then you can also think of it as uptrend break and you're going to expect a couple attempts at a new high which is what this next trade is so when i get to this trade it's uptrend break first attempt at a new high second attempt at a new high failure and then on a for the for the for like this downtrend right here it has break first attempt lower second attempt lower on a big picture i see that there's that attempt right there but that is very small and you could still expect a second equal leg. And if I draw this and then I put it there, it actually does start to get congestive right after it reaches that measured move. And so, and that's right where, and the measured move is right at the end of that swing. And you know, it's, that's market geometry. That's not a, that's not a coincidence. But, um, but one thing I was, I wanted to say as well is even for this downtrend here, you can see it as, downtrend break first attempt lower because you can draw this and then you get another break from that trend line and then you would get the second attempt lower so downtrend break first attempt lower second attempt lower it's a little bit harder to see but it is there and yeah i just thought it'd be best to get out before i didn't really want to push it too far below the swing because uh, it, it felt sideways we were starting to form a range kind of and so we did push lower though and we bounced here we bounced in the middle of this uh, downtrend we push higher back above the ema and first entry short small second entry short failure and it's successful it works out i still was not looking to go long i was looking for more shorts off of this key entry point and unfortunately i was out of the room for this entire area right here because i i really think that this failed second entry looks pretty good um, this one is a little bit more iffy because of the huge bar that actually closes out. So I, I would avoid that. It is at a measured move, which definitely helps it out. And then this lower high couldn't really get past the EMA. It's just stuck in between the EMA and the trend line. But then you get this failed second entry, and I was, you know, it was like the second trade that I was not in the room for that I thought was all right. And, uh, yeah, I think it looks good to push it down to the lows, kind of like with that trade, how I did. But um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna mark it with a circle because I like to keep the ones I that I entered on in with these, and so uh, and anyway, we push lower. It breaks that low. We're clearly starting to go sideways at this point. It's up or down, up, down, up, and so we have first leg up, second leg up. I don't see anything good. It's very choppy and it's not quite able to get above the EMA and it's into this trend line. I don't see any good longs here, but we do have those two measured legs up and then it gets right to that swing right there. And so that's good, but there's no, there's not really any good shorts. It just touches it and plummets and offers no entries. And we push back below the EMA. There's no way that you can get in on that. There's just no, there's really no good entries in my opinion. And then we don't quite reach the low here, which I had off those wicks because I liked, I liked it off those wicks mixed with, um, you know this breakout and so we don't even reach it and there's nothing to take but with this next trade here there's one th here's the thing about this trade right here you see how i have these two legs up here as more price action forms more you'll see more things so i'm going to delete one extend that to there oh i didn't mean to make two all right and then if i put it up it goes right to it that's a bigger picture measure move so we had that first two measure moves 
eventually you got to start extending them. And so that's what led to this trade. It's a breakout of this range. Most breakouts fail. Two measured legs up. This downturn has a break. We're expecting a new low. I couldn't get myself to push it. It was most likely because of the, you know, missing that last trade. But um, so I, I just took it at one to one. I, I really do think I should have pushed it further. But, um, you know, because it price action is about retesting areas. No, not it doesn't know about your target necessarily. And so um, I should have pushed it. But um, we reached the lows. I don't really see anything great. I mean, we have downtrend break, new low, and then a bullish bar. But, you know, it just, it does close in. It, it doesn't seem that perfect. If you entered on it, it's not like a horrible trade. It, clearly there's support here. You waited for the downtrend to play out, but it's not, it's just not the best looking trade I've seen. Um, yeah, and like especially with that huge bearish momentum, I don't know. I, I we do have this downtrend in play. We haven't played out the downtrend yet. We have the bigger measured move, those red arrows. So yeah, I just I don't really I don't really see anything that I wanted to take. But it does go higher. So we push higher, we go into this uptrend, we have a break, new high, barely, but we could still make another attempt. So uptrend break, first attempt higher, second attempt higher, failure. Then we kind of start trending down a little bit. But um, I don't see any longs in here after this uptrend break, and I don't I don't see any good shorts. In this area, the best looking short would be that. But even then, it's extremely choppy. You're clearly going sideways. You're into those lows. I really don't like it. But um. Yeah, that, that's the best context area, I would say. And you get a breakout, two-legged pullback, very common, and then it has a short-term plummet before it retests again. And then at this point, it just starts forming this next range. And that's basically it for the day. Um, it kind of got choppy at the end, clearly. But um, and I, I, mean, I am doing this video earlier than usual. I just felt like nothing was really happening. But... um. But yeah, so anyway, I hope this video helps out. Um, yeah, um, I guess that's going to do it for the video. See you all next time.